All right, you want to see something ridiculous? Sleeping puppies. They have played hard all day, followed me around, and... <laughs> oh! Hi, sweetie. This is what happens when you feed something and talk nicely to it. Give it a couple soft strokes, right? Yeah, you need to take a nap? Okay. I'll see you later. Well, I'll tell you what. The landlord said the most dangerous words that you can possibly say to a gardening prepping artist. He says to me, go ahead, do whatever you want. So... <laughs> Once I get that tiller running, I'm kind of addicted to it. So I'm going to walk out to the front of the property. And one of these days, I'll have a trash bag in hand. And I'm going to go into the woods here, clean up the street. And I've already put in one wild blackberry over here. And he is looking pretty good. And look, look at this trash. Well, anyway, I'm going to do up and down here. Uh-oh, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, I am going to just line that whole entire area with wild blackberries and see how they do. So here's the tiller work. This will be planned at most likely with just tons and tons of wildflowers of all kinds. Attract the hummingbirds and butterflies and bees. This is gonna be my new warm bin. I'm gonna drill holes in that as soon as I set the camera down. And this is the little brick planter. There are the bricks with the holes at the bottom of it lined with sand, a little bit of compost material. Then it has concrete block, and then these little brick pavers were just set on top of it. And I'm gonna put some basil seed in here, some plate glass over the top of it, and have it uh, like a little greenhouse for right now. And then I didn't feel like schlepping those. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. So I'm gonna plant this um, with some wildflowers, some herbs, and teff. And the teff is going to come uh, right out from this brick walkway to where the garden, uh, I mean the car is going to uh, pull up. And for those of you who don't know what teff is, it's an annual grass and it stays pretty low. But the beauty of teff is that it is the most magnificent, soft feeling stuff on my feet. It's the next best thing to moss. So I did another till job over there as well. Went through it one more time. Put the amendments in and plant it nice little wavy uh, rows of flowers. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did the, I showed the potato trenches. Yeah, on the last one. I'm so blurry right now. It's fatigue. And I put some behind that oak tree. I put some wild blackberries back there. But, see, lots of space. I hope we have lots of time to get things rocking. And see, they're, they're like my shadows now. What, what to do, what to do. <laughs> So somebody had suggested that uh, the lady next door um, doesn't know what she's talking about. They said that uh, this might be a lab and chow chow mix. But whatever it is, it's adorable and I think it's going to be huge. What do you guys think? And they're getting along great. And one doesn't seem to be dominating the other too badly. And no bad habits, you know, dogs... Um, this one still nips a little bit. She doesn't nip at all. The black Cha Cha Bella 
Right, lots of licking, lots of loving. She's just all about the love, wants to plop down every few steps and get some attention. But they got their first uh, uh, table manor lesson today. I was having a little lunch out on the deck and they automatically wanted to mooch. So I put that, nip that in the bud. It's easier to start them off with the good habits and try to break the bad habits for sure. All right, talk to you soon. Ciao.